Hey everyone, um, I wanted to do a quick video here comparing my HD Zero goggle um, analog performance um, with my old Skyzone Cobra X goggles. This is day one firmware for the uh, HD Zero goggles 9.0.1. Um, and this Cobra X goggle is running the SteadyView receiver. A couple of things to note before we begin the HD Zero goggles have a better Omni, it's a dual axis. Um, long range on the and uh, a smaller true rc patch on um, the sky zones we have a better patch just a larger um, lumineer patch and a smaller omni i wish i had um, one to one um, antennas to show you but i do not um, so i kind of gave a benefit and, and a weakness to each i'll let the videos speak for themselves um, but i do want to point out two things that i found improve um, the analog performance of the hd zero goggles that aren't they're, they're quirks they're they're peculiarities that aren't really written anywhere um but i've noticed exist at least in this um firmware from the factory the first thing that i've noticed helps is um, making sure you manually select the analog module versus having the goggles default to the last um known input that's a setting you can change. Um, you can ha I have it set up currently to default to HD zero, but not scan. So it, it brings me to the menu and I go down and I select analog. Many people have reported that that actually has improved um, their performance. Um, so definitely try that. Another thing that I was running into that, that was my own stupidity. There's a setting inside the, the HD zero goggles to change the aspect ratio of the OSD or, or, the, or the image to 4.3 or 16.9. Uh, I like a wide image, so I thought it was going to take the 4.3 and stretch it, um, which isn't the case. I, I think um, it, it stretches it regardless. I, I should remember, but I don't. But leave it on 4.3 because if you change it to 16.9, I had some quads with you know, the 4.3 sensors in the camera that completely gets distorted. And for whatever reason, it just destroys the picture and the frame rate. Um, it's like I'm looking at 10 frames a second. It, it, made, it made no sense to me. Leave it on 4.3, the goggles will do it automatically by itself. Um, and those two things have dramatically improved my performance. This yesterday's uh, video you're looking at here, as, as it comes to an end, just one more quick thing. Um, it was before I knew these fixes, so that might have been even performance um, that, that I could have improved by using that that uh, manual selection of the external module, um, or that might have been a flight because that wasn't really too bad. I, I, that performance is absolutely flyable to me, and that's the like I said, those Sky Zone Cobra X reception is is very impress it's very impressive. I'm not going to lie, that's versus, you know, rapid fire on the HD Zero goggles, so maybe something to switch to in the future. Um, so yeah, hopefully those tips will help you out. I'm sure they're going to straighten it out. Again, this is early firmware. You know, the, the, the analog performance that we had seen in beta um, was a lot better, in my opinion, than it is currently, but it is not bad currently by any means. It's just not exceptional, or it's not the best um, that's out there, but it's certainly flyable. Uh, HD Zero on these goggles looks amazing. I flew Walksnail on these goggles, um, looks amazing. Less, a lot less latency, making use of that 100 um, refresh rate mode. So the goggles are a big, big W. They're a big win. Um, I would recommend them. Just keep these. I just wanted to share this. Keep this in mind that there are some quirks. They'll probably straighten them out. But for now, there's a workaround, and you can get pretty good performance out of them. So, thanks. I uh, hope this helps.